so um you're going to have access to the group after the training that's one of the advantage so besides that um it's always good to really focus on branding yourself and creating content around your brand and being able to sell a service or so if you don't have a service at the beginning sell another person's service that's what it's called affiliate marketing so but yeah. you know that those who can con con control information they have power those who can control traffic they have the power of the internet they have the money exactly so um I think that is what I wanted to brief you on. You're going to go through the course, and uh, uh, let me just let me just go to my screen and explain something to you. Um, where am I? Okay, I'll just share my screen. I hope we don't get the the live doesn't get uh, interrupted. I'm looking for the screen option to share the screen. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's just what I wanted to share with you. Oh, okay. Cool. If you don't have, yeah, I, I don't know if you have a question, you can ask. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, my first, my first question will be. Um, I had a question about the language of a blog. Can I you choose the language in which you're going to blog? Like, uh, yeah, I'm getting uh, you. Um, when you're setting up your uh, blog, when you're setting up your blog, if your blog is going uh, to be, uh, your 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 your, inter your your connection is is tripping, but I'll try to answer the question in two ways. Uh, I don't know if you're getting me. Your connection is tripping. Okay, I'm getting you now. Okay. Um... Just so that. So I, I was saying I didn't really get the question well, but I, I think you were asking about the language of your blog, and I want to understand yes. the question in two ways. Like, if I want to create a blog, do I choose the blog should be in English, it should be in Espanol, it should be in? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Now it's good to I set don't know up the best language to go for. Okay, when you're setting up your blog, let's say you're you're, you're writing in French. Uh, okay. The technical side, when setting up your blog, it's good to choose the language in the setup process. Yeah. And to say, okay, it's French. It means your dashboard itself will be in French. Everything will be in French. Yeah. It also means that the search engine will understand that this blog is in French. Yeah. It also means that uh, that's what it means. But talking on the other side, not the technical part, talking on the in terms of content creation and audience and so on, it depends on your audience. Exactly. The language you want to use depends on your audience. And uh, let me just correct one mistake that everybody, most Cameroonians make, and that's why they don't make money online. Uh, the day I started making money online really big is the day I realized that my audience is not Cameroon. The audience that will make me rich is not Cameroon. Yeah. Uh, the day I realized that it brought me a little bit, it bright, it just broadened my 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 my, my, my capacity to work to to target different niches. So when I say um, uh, Voice of the Million made me two thousand euro in less than five months, I simply means that the traffic was from South Africa. It was from South Africa. It was from the US. Uh, if you look at, uh, let's let me just show you something. Let me just see if I can show you this. I'll share my screen back again. Okay. Uh, if we if we go to my my um, AdSense dashboard, for example, 
and look at my traffic volume like what has brought me the highest traffic over the years we realize that the traffic is from the u.s the highest traffic i mean not even the highest traffic the highest the traffic that brought me the highest money yeah yeah so but i'm not saying that i'm talking in terms of adsense but if we're talking in terms of monetizing like getting clients for products and services you're selling then you should you should target your specific audience uh let's say you you want to write you want to if i have a blog there is something i would have wished to do i would have wished to have an, an article online on comment gagner de l'argent en ligne au cameroun comment créer un blog au cameroun comment créer un site web au cameroun comment faire ceci au cameroun things that i'm dominating in the english section i want i would have loved to get that traffic why because i'm writing about cameroon mostly on money master tutorials and even on my youtube channel and my question is yeah. the larger audience in cameroon are francophones they're not anglophones yeah i get it yeah but i also ask myself the question what about the competition awesome yeah there's a hell of a competition with the francophone uh, community as well even though we still have exactly. niches niches that are not saturated in the francophone community we have niches that are not saturated yet so i think the the secret is if you're getting into a niche that's why you need to say, say, say choose a niche you need to choose a niche because if you choose a niche and say okay uh my blog is going to be about education you focus on that it means uh because there's a temptation there's a big temptation let's say you start a blog and the blog is on education you write about baccalaureate you write about bpc you know that francophone exams they don't they don't release them online they go and check it in school yeah so there's no traffic for bpc yeah, exactly. there's no traffic for back at the end of the day you'll be tempted exactly. to write to be tempted to write about the gce and that's what i'm be, i've been seeing some Cameroon, some francophone blogs writing about the gce resort the english own and they're trying to compete with us and they are not able to compete with us because google knows that their blog is not about english education exactly i yes. see so it becomes difficult so you need to see the balance in all of that unfortunately my yeah. sense is taking forever to loot uh, my network is, is really tripping oh i wanted to show you that traffic those traffic stats um anyways uh since that one cannot show i think i can show you at some other time i'll, I'll probably show you some other time but it's okay I don't know if you have another question. I don't know if I've answered your question. It depends on you and the traffic and the the, the, the audience you are trying to target. You can target Camo okay, audience. Okay. You can target Camo audience. But I think most people make a mistake in that they go online and the only audience they target is Camonian audience. Like somebody will go online and say, I want to do affiliate marketing. And they are thinking of I'm using this free version of Zoom, so they are warning me. Okay, somebody goes online and he's targeting the 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 they want to do affiliate marketing. The only thing he's thinking about is uh, promoting products to Cameroonians. If that's your own kind of affiliate marketing, then you'll never make money from affiliate marketing. I get it. I get it. Yeah, because Most of you'll be thinking of, like, like people come online and they're telling me they want to promote products on on Jumia. Jumia that stopped since 2019 you might have closed their doors and packed since 2019 somebody's coming 2022 and say i want to promote products on jumia through affiliate marketing i'm like come on it doesn't really make sense but it's easy you can promote products on clickbank you can promote products on on let me just show you this uh let me see okay let's see um we have a uh, by country by country here we have i don't know if you see my screen yes i'm seeing it okay let me just go back to this is last seven days let's go to custom let's go to 2000 and i think it's not going to be able to go back and right far back because the old data is not available unfortunately yeah. their old data is, has disappeared they don't have up to 2016 data but they have it in the payment section. They don't have it here. Whatever the case, uh, I'm going to try to get this 
from 2019 yeah it's available okay okay october 2019 to october 2022 let's take a look um we see average earnings all-time earnings is 6,000 in the dashboard, which is actually my all-time earnings on AdSense is actually more than 10,000 euro. So we understand that the, 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 the payment, the stats for 2000, from September 2019 back to 2017 is not available yet. I think you understand that. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah. we have like, like half of the money is not available yet, or at least close to half of the money is not available yet. So, yeah. so let's just work with this one. So we see Cameroon is the first country there. And, I see. And this is just because of the GC results. And it has 2,400. Uh, okay. And the okay. second country is the United States. It has 2,000 euro. 2,156. The third country is South Africa. Um, South Africa was top yeah. in the league in 2018, 2019. South Africa was number one. Yeah. Next is United Kingdom. Wow. And we notice something page views number of page views cameroon has 1 million 78 000 page views united united states has 361 views that's one third, one third the traffic of cameroon but their money is almost the same, yeah. the same 2 000 euro exactly so that means cameroon that, traffic is low cost yeah it's low low cost per click so you will see that the country you target is very important the country you, your traffic is coming from is important the keywords you target are very important so i can have one click yeah. from i can have one click from the us and it makes me one euro Whoa. and i can have 100 clicks from cameroon and the 100 clicks make me two euro <laughs> wow so, so, so those are things you need to be aware of and yeah you need to be aware of all of that i think i've answered the question yes 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 you have answered the question yeah yeah i think talking about audience struggle more the decision of deciding to do the blog in french or in english but what about a bilingual blog? Yeah, very possible. If you, want to do, if you want to do a bilingual blog, set it up in English and then you blog in different languages. It's going to work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's going to work. At one point, Google is going to understand. Mm -hmm. Because Google needs to okay. take take data from you, like uh, must like study your content and see what, yeah. what your blog is all about. And then it's, it, be, it will be able to recommend your blog. Okay. Yeah, so you'll be able to rank and index your blog in spe in a specific category. You know that, okay, uh, Journal du Cameroun has English and French. Okay, uh, Cameroun Web has English and French. They understand. CRTV Web has English and French. They understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what are the requirements to qualify for monetization in terms of blogging? Uh, it depends on your method of monetization. If you're talking about AdSense monetization, AdSense I'm talking about AdSense You're talking about AdSense? Yes. Okay. I have an article on AdSense monetization and it's also covered in the course as well. So you're going to see that. But let me just brief you. I think my number okay. one recommendation is that your blog should be at least 30 days old. Okay. And the blog should have at least uh, 15 articles that have traffic to it. Okay. Preferably a mix of search engine traffic and Facebook traffic. Okay. So it should be indexed, it should be having traffic. So if you want to be on the safe side, have at least 20 articles on it. Original articles written by you or written by some other person, but original. It shouldn't it should not be anywhere else on the web, on the internet. Okay. And yeah. it should have good navigation. It should not have a category on the website that does not have an article under the category. It should have good navigation like if somebody clicks on this category it should have content in that category there should be no blank pages it should, okay it should be mobile friendly it should be responsive it should load fast and so on 
so all those things uh google is going to if it doesn't have traffic google cannot place their ads on it if it doesn't have content google cannot place their ads on it so you should have good enough content and enough traffic you should have at least basic okay. traffic so google can test the platform so once you apply they're going to review it and then you should, need, you, should, you should have in mind that they can review it and reject it. So when they review it and reject it, make sure it doesn't violate any policies because there are certain policies. But most of the time, it's lack of content, lack of sufficient content or lack of traffic. Okay. So at times, if you have the traffic, you have the content and you're rejected from AdSense money uh, application and you think that your navigation is good and everything is fine. If it is navigation, they'll point it out. They'll tell you that the navigation is poor. And if they don't okay. point it out, just know that it's content or traffic. So fix the content, fix the traffic, and reapply. They're going to approve it. Great. So if they reject it on Monday, and you think it's fine, reapply the same Monday. They're going to review it and get back to you. You still reapply, keep reapplying, and then you're going to get approved. It's normal to get rejected. It's normal. Okay. Good. Like, I just, okay. made, uh, I just made, I just made uh, 11, 11 point something dollars on my new Amazon account. Amazon Associates account as an affiliate and I got rejected for lack of original content on the website I was using. So I have two options to re -app to appeal the decision or to reapply with a new account. I'm thinking of yeah. going for reapplication because I don't want to go through the long process of uh, battling with them and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay, now uh, let's say another question. I'm thinking about going for two niche blog, one on financial education and money making strategies online, and another one on health and yes, health, basically tips and tricks about health. Okay, so I think you'll be able to. You have to go through the, in this case, you have to go through the course. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll go through the course and yeah, I'll come back with get back to that. Okay. Good. So, uh, so after this uh, meeting, I'll get the link to access the course. Yeah, right? you get instant access after this. I'll, I'll send you the access to the course. Okay, so uh, will I access the whole version of the course or the one the courses are still being uploaded? You access the new version because there is new information there. Okay, good. The new good. version, not the old one. So, okay, good. So what if I go faster than the uploading? No, uh, I think then you just have to be patient because it goes slowly, okay. don't go too fast. <laughs> we'll okay, all the uploading by Saturday. Saturday is latest. Okay, great. It's just that I've been up and down all of this week, but it's okay. By Saturday, everything will be up. Okay, 